good morning. So I wanted to come on today and just elaborate a little bit on something I touched on yesterday when I was talking about dating and how to maneuver through that. I'm going to talk today about why you want to be cautious of sparks with someone. That immediate and intense chemistry that you may feel with someone and why this actually can sometimes be an indicator of a toxic relationship. You wouldn't think so, right? But actually, yes, this can be a, a big warning sign. So I'm going to go into a few of the reasons why that is today and what you want to be cautious about when you're talking about things like chemistry and the physical feelings that you feel when you're with somebody. So if you have a history, like I talked about yesterday, of having difficult or toxic relationships and that's been a part of your life for a long time, your brain actually becomes wired to find that type of dynamic appealing, to find it exciting, to find it familiar, to be drawn to that type of dynamic. So if that's the case for you, you're going to find that you actually have a lot of chemistry with people who embody those similar dynamics that you experienced in, the pre in your previous difficult relationships. You probably will find that the people that you feel the most familiar with, the people that you feel most drawn to, that you feel um, the most physical stuff for, are those people who, like I said, who embody that type of dysfunction. So to you, what feels like chemistry is actually unhealthy, is actually just a continuation of the dysfunction from your past. So I hope this is making sense so far. You want to have some chemistry, of course, with someone, but it's when we get into the extremes that we get into trouble. Like if you have, if you meet someone and you're going on a first date, and you have an intense, intense attraction to them, or you feel that spark, that's a big warning sign that you are entering into familiar territory, familiar dangerous territory. So pay attention to that. I recommend to people, if they are feeling that intense chemistry immediately after meeting somebody, that's a red flag. I actually, I actually advise people to walk away. Because usually it's an indicator, like I said, that this is a familiar dysfunctional experience for you. So another reason you want to be cautious of a huge spark or chemistry with someone is that some of that intense chemistry or butterflies you feel or that excitement, that can actually be anxiety. We, might, we, we don't think about that. But when you're in a safe, healthy relationship, it's a lot calmer. There isn't that, that um, intense feeling of, of the butterflies and the excitement. It's, it's much slower. It's a much slower and less intense experience. And again, that could be because what you're actually feeling is anxiety or even in some cases fear but if we're so drawn to someone we can think that this is love this is the right person it's supposed to feel like this no it isn't supposed to feel like that actually a healthy relationship develops slowly over time attraction develops over time those intense feelings are not an indicator that this is the right person for you so another reason why you want to be cautious of intense chemistry or a spark with someone is because sometimes that can actually be an unconscious desire to heal from the past. Like let's say you had a difficult childhood or you had a difficult relationship with your mother or your father. You might feel a big spark and an intense connection and chemistry to people that kind of act in the same way as your
you're a difficult parented or a difficult caregiver and you're kind of you're going to be drawn to them to try to heal that wound from the past but this is what you want to be cautious of it never ever worked you're never going to heal that wound from the past with the same type of person that caused it but you're going to feel that chemistry you're going to feel that unconscious draw to someone and that's why chemistry is often not a good way to choose a partner you want to be cautious that you are not choosing someone based on this drive to heal your past wounds so also chemistry is is really based on the physical feelings that you feel for someone it's biological and so having a strong physical connection to someone releases things like endorphins and hormones and this can actually cloud your judgment like it literally clouds your thinking and your ability to objectively observe the relationship dynamic the person to make a logical rational choice in a partner um you know if you are going solely based on physical connection and attraction and chemistry and spark that can actually bond you very powerfully to the wrong person for you okay it's difficult when you're when you're only going by how somebody makes you feel on that physical chemistry level it's very difficult to pull back and objectively evaluate the person, the situation, and see if they are right for you. So really my my summary here is that you don't want to go looking for chemistry when you're dating. Don't make that the top priority because like I said in, in a lot of these cases it's actually a, an indicator that this is not a good relationship if you're having that intense chemistry and attraction right away. Because healthy love, like I said, is calm. It's peaceful. It doesn't have the dramatic highs and lows, the ups and downs of a dysfunctional, toxic relationship. So you want to look for connection. You want to look for mutual trust, intimacy, the other person's ability to meet your needs and be a comforting presence for you. So don't go looking for chemistry. Of course you want to have a little bit there, but not the intensity. If you don't have a spark with someone, that's actually okay. That's actually a good thing. You don't need it to have a healthy, long-term, satisfying relationship. Okay guys, hope this was helpful. I will talk to you soon.